So what is Random Topic Saturday, some of you may be asking? It's exactly how the name sounds. So every Saturday I'm going to pick two topics to talk about for two minutes each. Now I haven't really seen many other YouTubers doing this, I mean I could be wrong, but I thought this was kind of something new and creative, so I hope that you guys enjoy this. Now later last night I posted this tweet, basically asking you guys to guess a number between 1 and 25, and the homies Taylor and Gabby came through guessing 10 and 14 respectively. They're really cool people, you should actually go follow them, I'll put the link to their Twitter in the description. Side note, the best way to stay up to date with content outside of subscribing to this YouTube channel, which you should do right now, go do it, is to go follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is in the description down below. Now what I'm going to do with those two numbers is go to this website that generates random topics to talk about, and the 10th and 14th topic that pop up are going to be the ones I'm going to talk about. So we're going to go to this website and pick the 10th topic. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, and 10. What would you do differently if you could relive the past year? Alright you guys, so I have the timer set for 2 minutes. And let's just jump into it. Ah, let's get that focus. There we go. So let's jump into it. So if I could have done something differently last year, I'm assuming that it's meaning 2015 because we're only three months into 2016. So if I could have changed one thing, I wouldn't have spent so much time playing video games. I was probably playing three to four hours of video games every night, not going to bed on time, getting terrible sleep, not hanging out with my family or anything. Um, I was just playing video games nonstop, and that really held me back from just growing. I mean, I could have been spending that time studying for school or going out and trying to get my personal training credentials sooner which I'm working towards now um, I could have made this YouTube channel sooner which would have been really cool if I would have started this sooner but hey the past is the past um, but yeah I definitely wouldn't have been playing so many video games I mean now I probably play an hour a day if I can <laughs> If that, I mean, I spend most of my day going to the gym or going to school or at work, so, um, yeah, but I definitely wouldn't have been playing video games so long. Um, yeah, I mean, video games definitely just, it, they just took over my life. I mean, I would, <laughs> I would just be cooped up in my room for hours and wouldn't eat, wouldn't sleep. That was the real, that was another bad thing. I wasn't eating right at all. I was eating like a bowl of cereal and maybe like a granola bar or two and that's like all day I'm not talking about just like a like a snack like all day I'd eat like a bowl of cereal or a granola bar or something like that and I was eating so unhealthy all because I was just trying to play all these video games for so long because I really had nothing to do I mean once I got off of work and was done with school I would have spent all my time playing video games instead of doing something more productive. So if I could have changed one thing in 2015, it would have been me playing video games so much and there's the timer. Alright, now onto the second topic. We're going to do the same thing as last time. We're going to go 14 from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Where do I work? Alright, so same as last time, I got the timer right here, set for another two minutes, and let's get into it. Let me start it actually before I just throw it on the bed. Alright, so now I started. So, I work at a middle school, and I am a student aide, so I work with kids who have special needs, and I just kind of help them get through their day-to-day -day, um, uh, goals and activities, so um, helping my student with math, uh, language arts, reading, uh, PE, like whatever whatever he needs that I'm just there to help him with. And I also help around the classroom um, cleaning up, putting papers away or whatever and um, just making sure that the whole classroom is um, functioning well. It's me and about six other aides who we each just have one student that we um, look after and we 
just help each student just get through their day and uh, whatever help that they need we offer that and are there to help so um, if a student's having a rough day we're just there to help calm them down and um, just get them back to a place where they can um, focus and uh, get their work done and just continue with their day and um, yeah we <laughs> that's basically what I do I mean it's pretty pretty straightforward um, most people are like oh you work with kids with special needs but I mean it's it's just my job um, it, I mean it is cool though like when you when you do break through those certain barriers and like a kid um, learns like a new social activity like um, how to say hi or um, how to wave correctly to someone or how to greet someone or how to have a full conversation I mean those things are awesome and those are just really great moments and uh, it's really cool like when that's your job and you get to help a student break through a wall or some difficulty that's that's the main thing that I love about my job so yeah there's a timer so that's my job so I hope that you guys liked this video if you did be sure to subscribe and also give this video a like there will be a new one out next Saturday and also put a comment down below of a topic that you think I should talk about if I like it I'll put it in the next video so before I end this video today, I like to read you guys a scripture first. So I'm going to read Psalm 118, verse 8. And it reads, It is better to trust and take refuge in the Lord than it is to put confidence in man. So basically what that means is if you put your faith in God to get you through your problems, it will work much better than if you put your trust in yourself trying to get you through those same problems. So I hope that you guys will have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys in Monday's video. I think you're going to like it. Later.